about the case. You hear me? Amen. You must not fight. Amen. But I see it's like some people can open a case against you. Yes. You are suspecting that? Yes, yes. No, if anyone opens a, a case against you, God must punish that person. You are not praying for nothing. Yes. You are praying unto a living God. Amen. I don't understand why people love to fight Christians when mm. they know they won't win. Mm -hmm. You won't win. Mm -hmm. I'm also telling this one. You won't win. Mm -hmm. This one that I watch you on the camera. Mm -hmm. You won't win in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus, my tenant. Come on. Oh, you demon. Demon, leave that lady. Leave her. Leave her, you demon. Leave her, in the name of Jesus. Fire, in that stomach. Fire, in the name of Jesus. Bring her here. Must forgive Ooh. me. I took time. Eh? Must forgive me. These are pastors. Eh? Pastors and issues. Right? Must forgive me. Jesus. Jesus, my tenant. Uh, you must forgive me. I took time than I expected. Eh? This is I'm talking with Professor you when we are here. You take things very light. When I was sitting here, I said to this man, there's a case. You heard what I said? Did you hear that? So there's a case. Very serious issue. Very serious. You heard when I told you about the case? Very serious. So that's what took our time here. Come on! Come on! You're free, Mama. You're free, come. Sister, come. Jesus, my dear. You're free, brother. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Good afternoon. My name is um, Helena Ipinge Marcelino, and this is my husband, Fermino Marcelino. We are from Vintuk, Namibia. Um, the reason that brought us to Charis is because of us we are in ministry we have a ministry back home um, but we have been experiencing challenges in terms of the ministry um, one of the challenges that we're experiencing is uh, a growth in the ministry we have also been experiencing challenges where um, some community members have been um, gathering trying to to make the church to close trying to to move us out of where of where we used to operate and also we have had um, several challenges in the ministry itself where there has been a lot of fights within the church and division within the church and we were not really sure what was causing all of that so that was part of the reason why we we, we decided to come and hear the voice of God through the men of God and to seek also for direction. It has been a challenge um, because we've, we've had this ministry for around seven years or so and uh, we have been praying to God for God to grow the ministry for it to get to the next level but every time it seems that we are reaching a certain level then um, fights break out or just attacks 
Um, and also we've noticed over the years that uh, church attendance seems to be going down and that has affected a lot of things in terms of um, us preaching the word of God. It, it has also been um, marred with a lot of accusations and a lot of gossips that have caused people to look at us in a negative, in a negative light. So it has not been easy doing the work of God, especially when um, people have looked at you in a certain way or people have labeled you as what you are not. And it has, it, it has hurt us. It has been a challenge also to our spiritual life because it, 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 it affected the church in so many ways. There were people who left and there were those who came, but we always had a problem with trying to um, create a certain focus amongst especially the church workers. There was a lot of lies and there was a lot of gossip that was going around and that is why we came here for the men of God to clear to help to help to stand with us in prayer to clear this spirit that has been there and for him to also give us guidance and direction and show us perhaps where we have gone wrong uh, in terms of the work of God so today we had an opportunity to sit with the men of God um, for me there were two main things that he spoke about the first is he spoke about trust and he said you know the Bible tells us not to trust any man but to trust in God and he told us that one of the the, the problems that we've had is that we have we had trusted people in the church who who we took as sons and daughters but now that those people are no longer there they have turned they have turned on us so he said that this has been one of the causes that has caused the division and the chaos in the church. It is because of the trust that we, that we put into people. Um, he also spoke and told us that uh, the other issue is that of the land that we were having. And he said that the fact that we have, we have gone an extra step to acquire land for the church has not been met very well in the kingdom of darkness. So this expansion that God is allowing us to do is what is also causing a lot of fights and a lot of attacks now. And he's saying this is a spiritual battle. It's a common one. Uh, you cannot do the work of God and not expect uh, attacks and not expect um, opposition because it's a war that you are involved in. So he told us that everything would be okay he said he would pray for us. Some of these challenges that we are experiencing will, will disappear. And he says that we'll see how things will be different when we, when we get back home. Yes, I can confirm that um, the one of trust, over the years, there have been people who have been part of our ministry because we've been in ministry for quite a while. And some of these people had key positions in the church um, they were workers. So because we had to see them on a daily basis because of what they were doing, they became very close to us. They also became close because we took them as our children, we took them as our sons and daughters, and whenever they had a problem, they would run. So we, we, we brought them into our circle because that is what we thought we were supposed to do. But some of them, when they left, they have then used some of the information that they got to know about us, against us. Some of us, paint. they, they began to paint us in a very negative light and say all sorts of things about us. And it was easy for people to believe them because people knew that they used to be close to us. While in fact, the devil was simply just using that as an opportunity to, to ruin our image. So that I can confirm. Um, the, the issue of the land, yes, we acquired a land for the church. When was that? More last year? Last year. It is a much bigger place compared to where we are now. Um, and this land is ours. Where we are now, we are renting. Um, and ever since we acquired that land, there was also a lot of talk. It, it, it stirred up... Um, 
I don't know what to call it, but it, it, it's like it caught people by surprise. I think some people did not know that we could ever go to that level. They thought that we would most probably just remain where we are. So I believe that there were allegations of where did we get the money to buy the land, how did the land come about, and all of that. And through that, it also caused, again, a lot more gossip, a lot more lies, and a lot more confusion, which, which also affected the people in the church. Yeah, so some people were told lies about how the church, how the land was acquired. And unfortunately, some left. Those who succumbed to the lies and the gossip, they ended up leaving, which was again an attack for us, for the church. So I'm confident that what the man of God has said, which is that God will take over this battle, um, that will indeed be the case. I'm confident that with what the man of God has said, we will see a different in terms of this battle and we will not be battling it alone anymore. God will intervene. Um, I believe that the both of us feel relieved that God is aware of what we are going through. There were times where we used to think that perhaps God has forsaken us because we, we were not hear, really hearing him or seeing what is going to be the solution to all of this. But coming here and having the man of God speak to us about issues that he cannot no, unless it is from God, because we are from a different country. It, is, it, it, it showed us that God is involved. It showed us, it, it, it gave us the confidence to continue to do the work of God, no matter the challenges. And particularly for me, I'm relieved that God is speaking, because there, there was a point where we were really disillusioned and, and really put down by what was happening. And we th even thought that maybe, did we go wrong somewhere? Are we, still, are we still in the work of God or did we leave the work of God? But after the man of God spoke to us today, I think we, we are confident and we've gotten the strength, especially after the prayer, to continue to do his work. In the name of Jesus. You see that? Well, you see, you see, you see. In the name of Jesus. Today, yeah, the story, and this demon must go. What do I do here? What do I do here? You see, oh, look at your wife here. Look at her. You can see this, not your wife. Eh? Eh? The spirit. This is spirit. So you people here, come together. Come. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Your demon must leave. I restore this ministry. Mm -hmm. I restore this ministry. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Go. The spirit must live. The spirit must live. The spirit must live. The spirit of failure must live. The spirit of destruction must live. In Jesus' name, you are free, you are free in Jesus' name. See you later. See you later. Okay, God bless.